assalamu alaikum students uh, i am dr shafi indul fikar we were studying cell physiology and we will continue with it today our topic is the cell and its function structure of cell and what are its function so let's start the topic cell as you all know is the structure and functional unit of the body cells are the building block of the body they provide structure for the body's tissue and organs they ingest nutrients and convert them into energy and perform specialized function this is the basic structure of a cell so a cell consists of a cell membrane okay, this is a cell membrane inside the cell membrane there is a gelatinous substance which we call cytoplasm then comes the nuclear membrane this nuclear membrane separates the nucleus from the cytoplasm then comes the nucleoplasm which is same as that of cytoplasm then comes the nucleolus this is the basic structure of the cell as it consists of a cell membrane a cytoplasm a nuclear membrane a nucleoplasm and the nucleolus now comes the constituents of the cell so cell is made up of water ions protein carbohydrate and lipid the most uh, abundant material of cell is water it is the principal fluid medium of the cell which is present in most cells except for fat cells 70 to 85% of the cell consist of water ions important ions in cell membrane includes potassium magnesium phosphate sulfate bicarbonate and smaller quantities of sodium chloride and calcium these ions provide inorganic chemical cellular reactions and are also necessary for the operation of some of the cellular control mechanisms these ions play a role in the cellular reaction then comes the protein so after water the most abundant uh, constituent of the cell is proteins 10 to 20% of the cell mass is made up of protein okay so it is the second most abundant constituent now these protein there are of two types okay number one is the structural proteins which make up the structure of the cell and the other is the functional proteins which perform functions of the cell so structure proteins structure proteins are in three forms one is long filament other is thin filamentous and the third one is fibrillar protein so what are the long filamentous proteins these are the polymers of many individual protein molecules intracellular filaments are in the form of microtubules so these long filaments they are in the form of microtubules and they make up the cytoskeletons of cer certain cell organelles they are the backbones of these organelles such as cilia nerve axons and mitotic so structure proteins are further divided into long filamentous thin filamentous and fibrillar long filamentous they are in the form of microtubules they make the cytoskeleton the backbone of some organelles such as cilia nerve axon and mitotic spines then thin filamentous tubules these hold the part of the cytoplasm and nucleoplasm together so part of cytoplasm and nucleoplasm together in their respective uh, compartments then the third is the fibrillar proteins these are found outside the cell especially in the collagen and elastin fibers of the connective tissue such as in blood vessels tendons and ligaments now the functional proteins they are in the form of tubular globular form they are mainly the enzymes of the cells so function of protein is they are mainly these proteins are mainly the enzymes of the cell and they are adherent to the membranous structures inside the cell these are the enzymes and they are adherent to the membranous structure so they play role in some reactions so we have studied water ions protein now comes lipid so important lipids which are present inside a cell they are phospholipids and cholesterol they make up only 2% of the total cell mass they are insoluble in water now what are their function they are used to form the cell membrane main structure of the cell membrane and intercellular membrane barriers that separates different cell compartments so lipids are very important lastly carbohydrate carbohydrates have little structural function in the cell they play major role in the nutrition of the cell they provide energy to the cell now comes the cell membrane its structure is very important its diagram is very important there comes a question uh, in which they ask to draw and label the structure of the cell membrane the cell membrane also called the plasma membrane envelops the cell it is a thin pliable elastic structure its thickness is 7.5 to 10 nanometers So this is the important MCQ. The total thickness of a cell membrane is 7.5 to 10 nanometers. Now, what is the composition of the cell membrane? It is 55% protein, 25% phospholipid, 13% cholesterol, 4% other lipids, and 3%. carbohydrate the most abundant are the proteins then the phospholipid then cholesterol then other lipids and then 
carbohydrate. Now, the structure of the cell membrane, you all know that as the basic structure of cell membrane, it is lipid bilayer, which is a thin double layered film of lipid that is continuous over the entire cell surface. And interspersed in this lipid film are large protein molecules. So there is a double layer of lipid. In between this layer are protein molecules. Now, this lipid bilayer has two ends. One end, it is, we call it heads. And the other end, we call it tails. Remember that heads are hydrophilic. That, uh, that is, they are soluble in water. The tails are hydrophobic. That is, they are insoluble in water. So this is the structure of a cell membrane. So this is the lipid bilayer. You can see this is the... This is the one, one layer of lipid and this is the other layer of lipid. So these are the heads of the lipid. These are the tails. Look at this. These are the heads. This is the head and these are the tails. Okay. So heads are hydrophilic. Tails are hydrophobic. What are these large things present in between the lipid bilayer? These are the proteins. Interspersed between the lipid bilayer are the protein. These proteins are also of two types. One are the integral proteins which are present throughout the membrane. They crosses the lipid bilayer. These are large. These large are the integral proteins and one at one end these small structure. These are the peripheral proteins. So peripheral proteins are in, in fact attached to the integral proteins. They are not directly attached to the cell membrane. These are attached to the integral proteins. What are these pink structures? These pink structures are the carbohydrate and we call it glycocalyx. These pink things are the carbohydrate code which are present above the lipid bilayer and we call them glycocalyx. We will discuss them in the next slide. So this is the structure of the cell membrane. Now the membranous proteins. There are two types of membrane protein which I have already told you. One are the integral proteins which are present throughout the lipid bilayer and what are the peripheral proteins which are in turn, in turn attached to the integral protein. Now what are the functions of the integral protein? So these are the functions. Number one, they provide structural channels or pores through which water molecule and water soluble substances especially ions can diffuse from the ECF that is extracellular fluid into the ICF that is intracellular fluid. These protein channels are also have selective properties. So one of the function of the peripheral integral protein is the structural, they act as structural channels or as pores for the water soluble substances to get entered into the cell. Then some integral proteins, they act as carrier proteins for transporting substance. They carry the some substances into the cell membrane. Some act as enzymes. They are involved in reaction and some act as receptors on so the some you can say ions or any other things they attaches to the integral proteins and they act as receptors and then they transport those substances inside the membrane. Now the function of the peripheral proteins. They are attached to the integral proteins and they act as enzymes or as controllers of transport of substances. So peripheral protein act as enzymes or con controllers and they transport the substances through the cell membrane like pores. Then the cell glycocalyx. What is glycocalyx? I have already told you it is a carbohydrate coat. The entire outside surface of the cell ha has this coat and membrane carbohydrates occur in combination with protein or lipids to form. If then they are in combination with proteins, we will call them glycoproteins. When they are attached to lipids, we call them glycolipids. What is the function of this glycocalyx? This is a very important uh, constituent of cell membrane. Number one, many of them have a negative electric charge so which gives most of most cells an overall negative surface charge and they repel negative charge objects so it is important it repels other negative charge substances which may be harmful for the cell number two the glycocalyx of some cell attaches to the glycocalyx of other cells so they provide attachment they attach one cell to the other cell number three Many of the carbohydrates act as receptor substances for binding hormones such as insulin. They are the binding sites for certain hormones. Number four, some carbohydrates, they are also, these, these carb glycocalyx, they are also involved in immune reaction. So number one, they are negatively charged. So they repel negative objects. Then they provide attachment between two cells. Number three, they act as receptor substances for certain binding, for binding hormones. And number four, they are involved in immune reaction. And lastly, cholesterol. What is the role? Cholesterol is also present in cell membrane. What is the role of this cholesterol? 
what is the function this cholesterol determines the degree of permeability of a bilayer to water soluble substance how much the layer is permeable to water soluble substance it is determined through cholesterol and number 2 it controls much of the fluidity of the membrane fluidity is how easily a membrane can adapt to a change this is controlled through cholesterol so cholesterol de determines the degree of permeability of the lipid bilayer towards water and it controls the fluidity of the membrane so this was about structure of cell and the structure of cell membrane what are the functions of the cell membrane proteins what are what is the function of the uh, carbohydrate which is present inside the protein then the function of the cholesterol